only one team, and as you guys can see, there's a storm going on, so I apologize in, in advance for that, but there's been one team in the history of the NBA that has ever won a championship that wasn't a top 10 defense. The Cavaliers were number 10 back in 2016 with um Kyrie and LeBron, which is kind of funny, but so only one team has ever done it, and I don't remember who it was, but it was, it was a pretty long time ago, so I, I don't think a team will win the championship without a top 10 defense. And I understand that the Nets are an outlier because they have the best big three that the league has ever seen. But at the same time, they have to go through the Lakers. And if you take a look at the Lakers big three, it's it's not quite as good, but the rest of their team is is just much better. So let's, let's take a look at the Lakers big three. So LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook. I saw a report earlier that LeBron James was looking a lot leaner. I mean, I'm not surprised by that. That was coming from Rob Palenka, who said that. So now you have LeBron James, who's looking lean. He's going to be even more explosive. Obviously, the entire Lakers roster is fully vaccinated. So in order, to, if you want to win a championship, I mean, you've got to be fully vaccinated. I mean, the uh, the um, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they're they're fully vaccinated. The Lakers are fully vaccinated. The best football team, in my opinion, at least, and the best basketball team. And then Russell Westbrook, he's going to be the wild card here. I saw him working on a new shot. All I've seen is Russell Westbrook and LeBron James and Anthony Davis and some other guys in the gym working out. I mean, the chemistry for the Lakers to go with the defense. And also, Russ is hungry. You look at a guy like Carmelo Anthony, he's hungry as well. I mean, even Dwight Howard, despite getting a, a ring in the bubble with the Lakers, I mean, he's still going to be really hungry to prove a lot. And then also they bring in DeAndre Jordan. He's going to be hungry to play against his former team that wouldn't even play him. Um, you go out and you get a guy like a Trevor Ariza, who's a really good 3 and D player. I, I thought he played really well for the Heat. He was putting up big numbers, rebounding, shooting the three ball, doing what Ariza always does. Really consistent player. Um, Kent Bazemore is another underrated pickup. He's not going to play too much, but he can shoot and defend. A big pickup. Well, actually, there's two big pickups that I want to talk about, and it's Malik Monk and Kendrick Nunn. I mean, both of these guys can shoot the ball really well, especially Kendrick Nunn. I mean, he was a borderline 50, 40, 90 player that the Lakers got for essentially nothing. Malik Monk, really good shooter, athletic as well. I believe he's about 23 years old. He's super young. Uh, of course, uh, Rajon Rondo, he's a really efficient player with the ball in his hands. He doesn't turn it over. His plus minus, I mean, if you any Laker fan that's watching this, which I'd imagine you are a Lakers fan, if you're in this, they can tell you a lot about Rajon Rondo and his impact on the court with the ball in his hands. I mean, his plus minus was always at the high, the highest uh, in the game. I mean, especially against the Rockets, that's when he really broke out for the Lakers. And he was big in every round, but mostly the Rockets. I mean, he really just took control of that series. And then, of course, they re-signed Taylor Horton Tucker. They gave him a new contract, and we touched upon Carmelo Anthony. So if you compare that to the Nets roster, which I'm going to do right now, so, I mean, Harden, Patty Mills, Cam Thomas isn't going to see too many minutes. Kyrie, Bruce Brown, DeAndre Brembry was an underrated pickup. He's six foot six, so he has the size to defend guards. He can also match up physically with those wings. Joe Harris, eh, I mean, Joe Harris is good. He was at the top of the NBA in three-point percentage, but he was really bad in the playoffs, and he can't defend. We know that. He's not athletic, so he's not going to have a role against the Lakers. Uh, and then they do get LaMarcus Aldridge back, which is really big. Uh, obviously, Paul Millsap was a, was a good pickup for them as well. Um, Sharp, again, good rookie, but he's not going to play much. Nicholas Claxton, uh, Kevin Durant, Blake Griffin, James Johnson. I like James Johnson. He started in about half the games he's played. Really physical dude. Can shoot the three ball. Seku Dumboya is going to be interesting. So, I mean, I just showed you the Nets roster, and it, it's just, it's not really, it's really close to the Lakers, but the difference between the Lakers is, well, they have LeBron James, but also they just, they have so much more depth. Like, it's going to come down to some of these role players like Melo and Taylor Norton Tucker and Ariza and Kendrick Nunn and then Wayne Ellington. I forgot to mention, he's he was, if you take a look at Wayne Ellington, the first like three months of the season, he was shooting over 50% from three. A lot of people don't understand that. Wayne Ellington is really good. I'm glad the Lakers brought him back. I know a lot of Laker fans didn't really want to do that, but yeah, I, I definitely like this Lakers roster. I expect them to win the championship. If it does come down to a fully healthy Nets against Lakers, it's going to be probably six or seven games. The Nets have the firepower, but the, the Lakers are going to have LeBron James, who always controls games. I mean, even LeBron at 36, 37 years old, and then he's got Anthony Davis. I mean, I don't know who the hell is stopping Anthony Davis on the Nets. Uh, Russell Westbrook, he's going to be more of a playmaker. Like, I don't even think Russell will average over 15 a game this season, which is a hot take. 
But I really don't think Russ is going to put up that many points. He's going to be the playmaker of this team. And then I'm sure LeBron's going to have the ball. But it's mostly just going to be Russ as the point guard, LeBron point forward. And then Anthony Davis is going to play a lot of that stretch big role. So I like what the Lakers have done. And as I mentioned, if any Lakers fans have seen a couple of my videos, I mean, they're not going to know this at the top of their head. But I mentioned that if the Lakers got Russell Westbrook and Melo, this is before they got them, like a month or month and a half before they got them that I wouldn't mind rooting for the Lakers. So again, I'm not a Lakers fan, but uh, I'd love to get to see Harden get a ring. But if the Lakers won, I really wouldn't care as well because Melo was Mello was huge of my childhood, man. Like back when he was in Denver, that's when I really started watching basketball when him and Kobe dueled. So if Melo got a ring, I'd be happy. Russell Westbrook deserves a ring. And then again, LeBron James, I believe he's the greatest of all time. And I'd love to see him get another ring as well. If he gets another ring or two, I mean, he's got to be over Jordan. I mean... I don't know what more LeBron has to do. I mean, he's a better overall player, obviously. He has the longevity. He has the accolades. Well, not necessarily. Not that. That's not true. He doesn't have the accolades, but he has the longevity. And I mean, LeBron. He's been to so many finals. Like Jordan did go six and zero, but I mean, he never played against some of these teams that Bron has had to play. Bro, I'm being honest with you. And I just think LeBron, like I said, is an overall better player. Impacts the game more than Michael Jordan. And uh, yeah, I know guys like Scottie Pippen and Isaiah Thomas uh, would agree with me on that, but. Yeah, LeBron James, he's gonna he's gonna be in the MVP, MVP conversation as always. I think Anthony Davis is gonna be that number one scoring option. He'll be over thirty a game, not in the regular season, but in the playoffs, he'll be he'll be like thirty and twelve. Russ will be Russ is probably gonna be somewhere around like fourteen to fifteen points. He'll be over ten assists a game for sure, and then rebounds he'll be up around six seven. So Russ is gonna take a massive hit to his numbers, but I mean his efficiency and the way he impacts the game winning wise is is going to be better than ever. We're going to see a really good Russell Westbrook. Oh, I mean, imagine like Russ when he's on the Rockets, but more a little, like a little bit better of a three-point shooter. I mean, Russ is going to be scary good this season. And then Kendrick Nunn, Malik Monk. I mean, they match up well with like a, a Patty Mills, for example. I mean, the Nets, they don't have any depth at the guard position. Uh, Bruce Brown is more of like a 3-4. He doesn't really, he's not a two guard. I mean, he can't shoot for anything and he's there for defense. And then Javon Carter was a lockdown defender in college, but to this point, he's, he's not going to see a lot of minutes. And then Patty Mills, we know what he brings really good. But I, any day of the week, I'd rather have uh, Kendrick Nunn or Malik Monk over Patty Mills. And I know that that might be hot. But, I mean, you guys will see. Like, honestly, Malik Monk, he has all the potential in the world. He came out of Kentucky, right? Yeah, he's really good. And then um, Kendrick Nunn, as I mentioned, is like a 50-40-90 guy. I don't know how the Lakers were able to land Nunn and Monk for, like, nothing. And then Taylor Hunter Tucker has star potential. Uh, not a superstar Lakers fans, but definitely has star potential. Uh, it will be interesting to see what happens, man. Uh, I definitely think like the Rant Harden and Kyrie is going to be insanely hard to stop. But if anyone can stop them, it's LeBron James. I mean, no one else in like the history of the game I think could ever beat this Nets team besides LeBron. And I truly do mean that. I mean, Kevin Durant single-handedly took the Bucks to seven. So the only chance that anyone has to stop the Nets is is going to be themselves or if they get injured or something crazy happens or LeBron James. And it's not like LeBron has no help. I mean, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, Dwight Howard, Kendrick Nunn, Malik Monk, Melo. I mean, the Lakers are an old team, but sometimes that's good. Like sometimes being older is, it's in your favor. So yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts in the video. And as always, it's your boy Swaggy signing out. Peace.